All right, everybody. Um, this video, I'm gonna show you how to get JASP and then how to upload a um, file into JASP so that you can analyze the data in it. And then I think I'll also, either in this video or the next video, show you how to enter data in a spreadsheet like Google Sheets or Excel um, for uh, Factorial ANOVA. So first, um, if you just type JASP in to Google, it'll bring up their website, and then you just hit this, and you download JASP, and then you go through the steps. Um, I've already downloaded it and opened it, so I don't want to do it again, but it's pretty straightforward. It just kind of walks you through the steps, um, and let's see, if you hit download, what happens? Okay, <clears throat> if you hit download, then it gives you the options for which system you want to download. So Mac users here, Windows users here. If you're Linux people, you go here. Okay, so that's how you find JASP if you don't already have it. Um, then what we're going to do is we'll go into our Camino class. And you see here in... The week three, four folder, there's the stats practice data dot save. If you go here and click on it, <clears throat> it downloads it. So now it is downloaded into your downloads folder. Ooh, that's the answer key for homework four in there. Um, so there it is in your downloads folder. If you want to uh, make it easier to find, you can throw it onto your desktop. Um, like this or whatever you need to do. So just as long as you can find it. Okay, now we've got the data set. We've installed JASP. We're going to go to our applications and open up JASP. And we're going to just say open computer. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the desktop because that's where I saved the data file. I'm going to click on that. And it says, just like to access the files on your desktop. I'm going to say, OK, go ahead. There is the data file that I just downloaded. I'm going to say open. And there's my data. So that is all you need to do to get the data file off of um, Camino, put it onto your desktop, and upload it into JASP. And then you can start analyzing data. So this week we are working on ANOVAs. So I would just do an ANOVA, click on that, get a dependent variable, let's say math grades, and Let's look at that by, say, race. Give me some descriptive statistics, and it shows the means for each of the different groups in my study and the F and so on. So that's how you do it.